Hi everyone, CNX Soft here. This is Geekbox. It's an Android TV box and a development kit that can run Android, Linux, based on Rockchip RK3368 octa core processor, 2GB RAM, and 16GB flash. And another box has some accessories. So let's have a look at the device first. Okay, Geek Buying loves to send me. Oh. Boxes that are hard to open or not? Yes. Okay. Well, that's. That's very small. That's a box. Okay. All right. So it's like a small router almost. That's so tiny. All right. And we have two USB ports, Gigabit Ethernet, HDMI 2.0, micro uh, USB, and this one must be the power. It's been designed to be easily Openable, but I'll have to look later because I am not sure how to open it yet. So that's uh, some user manual with descriptions about the board. That's also a system on module. This one is a remote control, which uh, looks like they also use it as a gamepad, maybe. It requires two AAA batteries. There's an HDMI cable. Okay. And the power adapter. That's f 5 volt 2 amps. That works with this USB cable and this end to power the device. Uh, I'll try to open it in the other part of the video. And this one is the accessories. So let's see the first one. The first one is a fan for the gig box to make sure the processor stays cool. Um, the next one should be a USB to TTL debug board to access the serial console, yeah, and with the corresponding cable. Next will be the battery for the real time clock CR2032. Then we have some uh, some screws and spacers for the acrylic box. I know to mount the landing ship, and this one is a landing ship. This is the baseboard 
for the Geekbox module. I will show you very soon how it fits. So what we have here, we have the 5 volt power supply. This one is some capacitor I guess and this one is an IR receiver. This is a display, MIPI display, not available yet. USB port, SPDIF, audio output. And here we have the connectors for IOS. And this one is a MXM 314 or 313 edge connector for the SOM. On the back here, we have the GPIOs information and a port to insert a SSD or hard drive 3.5 inch. Okay, that's all. Okay, so now I can show you how to open the box. You have to remove the two Wi Fi antenna. You just need to pull. Okay, and after the box will open. And um, you have two screws here that you need to remove if you want to completely take away the, the module or the board, depending how you want to call it. Okay, so it's not always coming very easily. Okay. Alright, the processor is here, flash is here, memo, the RAM is here maybe. This one is a uh, um, wireless chip, is a 802 AC with Bluetooth 4.1 I think. And here you have some connectors where you want to connect the accessories. The one at the bottom is for the RTC battery. Okay. This is very tiny, so not so convenient to use sometimes. So that's the RTC battery. And then here you can connect the fan. There is a very tiny edge here that you need to match. So again it's tiny and this is a fan for the processor. I have not seen how they attach it to the board yet. There is, does seem to be a sticker here, maybe that's what you have to do, or you have to use your own sticker. And then the last one here is a serial cable. If you want to have the access to the serial com console and after you have to connect the RXTX on ground here. Okay, so now if you want to connect the module to the main board you have to peel the sticker here okay and insert insert the board and pull it down okay and there will be some screws included in the package I showed before small black screws that you can use to make sure the board 
will stay in place. Is it not this one? So, okay, I will try later. But basically, this is uh, the way it works. Here you can see you have the connectors to make sure the the system on module is stuck with the baseboard. All right, that's how you connect the different accessories for the board and uh, check Android, Linux and see how it, it all works. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Okay, just one uh, small update. It's uh, okay. There's a screws to uh, make sure that you the the sum is connected to the baseboard properly. Are the screws you found in the in the box? The two other screws are actually used for the SATA drive. So I installed the SATA drive here, as well as the spacers. So you'll have to install the SATA drive, and here you have one screw and another one at the edge here that you need to screw and after you can complete the spacers and you get the full development board set up like this. Alright, that's all. Thanks. Bye bye.